What? An important medical prince? No. Do know what? Fixing this tie still, cause it's so crooked. Five are still alive for ah 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 question five question five ah 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 question five ah yeah yeah ah hmm question five here we go shampoo is a loan word from what language Finnish Hindi or Navajo shampoo shampoo. Where did it come from, y'all? That's a tough one, because this stuff is popular all over the world. And who knows what we'd call it today if it didn't come from shampoo, a verb meaning to rub in Hindi. Yeah. 26,605 getting a scrub on, keeping the follicles clean, thanks to the Hindi word for shampoo. OK, question number six. What role has won Oscars for two different actors who played him? Abraham Lincoln, Hamlet, or Vito Corleone? What's it gonna be, y'all? All right. There are, these are, you know, three characters that many actors dream of playing. But only one has proven itself money in the bank on Oscar night. Winning Best Actor for Marlon Brando, Best Supporting Actor for Robert De Niro, it's Vito Corleone. <laughs> Vito Corleone. 16,233 in the place to be doing it right. Getting it all night. Moving on to question number seven. 
<laughs> I was trying to rhyme. I didn't know where the heck I was going with that. But thank you for rocking out with me. Question seven, babies. What is the word for a group of pugs? Tumble, stumble, or grumble? It's a group of pugs. Those cute little dogs with the smushy faces. When they're gathered, what are they called? You think they could come up with one word for all dogs, but no, they gotta split it up by breed. Anyway, all pug owners out there, please let us know if grumble is an apt word. Grumble, it's a grumble of pugs. 13,870 of you got that. And there's a grumbly rumbly in my tumbly for question number eight. No, you guys hated it? Me too. Okay, question eight. St. Nicholas is the patron saint of why, which of these groups? Aviators, children, or philanthropists? The patron saint of one of these groups, y'all. All right. Like most of the saints, Nick has a lot of patronages. Uh, merchants, sailors, brewers, pawnbrokers, and of course, the kids. Nick love the kids. Pop the top and let the sunshine in. Get you a glass, man. 11,081 of you got children. Congratulations. Yeah, 651 of y'all, though, think that St. Nicholas is hooking up aviators. Uh, <laughs> no. Question number nine. Know you're feeling fine. Here we go, babies. In which French-speaking nation would you find mainland Africa's northernmost point? Morocco, Algeria, or Tunisia? They speak in French. Okay, and it's uh, mainland Africa's northernmost point. There's a close contest with a photo finish if you check on a map. Okay, Morocco makes a brave lunge for the title where it stretches up towards our friend Gibraltar. Huh, remember that? That was a callback. Yeah, but it still comes up a little short of Raz Ben Saka, Tunisia. Raz Ben Saka, y'all. My favorite vacation destination is Raz Ben Saka. That's a savage question for you. Here we go, savage question twice. Y'all gonna need some rice. Savage question twice. <laughs> they like rice in Tunisia. Yeah, cool, all right. Raz Ben Saka, Tunisia, y'all. Okay, question number 10, my friends. Let's get it in, here we go again. Big Bird's teddy bear is named in reference to what classic 70s TV show? All in the Family, M.A.S.H., or Mary Tyler Moore? Big Bird. I wanna get Big Bird on the show. Hey, can we get Big Bird as a guest? That'd be cool. Hey, Cookie Monster, I would love to hang out with Big Bird. Steal a couple feathers, put them in a pillow. I'm kidding, I would never do that. <laughs> okay, the story here is an actor on this show was a big painter of birds, okay? And after Big Bird actor Carol Spinney met him, Carol thought the name Radar would be a good tribute to both Gary Berghoff and his teddy bear loving character on M.A.S.H. M.A.S.H. babies! You guys are mashing it up. 4,522 knew what to do, and you're coming through to question number 11. All dogs go to heaven. Here we go. Which was not a White House pet during the Clinton administration? Socks, Buddy, or Millie? Hmm? What's it gonna be? All right. We are now in the first administration with nothing that can be called a pet since James K. Polk. Yeah. Not like the days of the George H.W. Bush presidency, which had the uh, Springer Spaniel Millie. You know, Millie is your non-Clinton answer, babies. Yes. 3,787 of you are moving on to question number 12. Whoa, question 12. What's that smell? Smells like money. Follow me at Matt What's Funny. Mm, question 12. I said question 12. Question 12. Woo! Okay. Oh, I gotta watch some tutorials on how to tie a tie in a rush. Pass me the keys to my truck. Here we go. Which title shares an author with the lesser known The Life and Adventures of Santa Claus, The Hobbit, The Wizard of Oz, or Peter Pan? What's it gonna be, y'all? Well, we gonna see right about now. 
This isn't the author's biggest hit, but it did become an animated Rankin Bass special, and you can find the print version online. And if you haven't read his other books, this might be your ticket to L. Frank Baum, creator of Oz. We're off to see the Quizard, the wonderful Quizard of. Yep, okay, 3,004 of you. Just one HQ trivia. Oh, she's niddle bam, snip snap, zip zap. <laughs> Snap zip zap babies! Getting it on a t-shirt. Shout out to Dave Chappelle. <laughs> 83 cents for all of you! Clemmied, Blue Hawaii, uh, Pablo Haley, Jerome Wee, my name Ed, my name Matt Richards, uh, Cinder, <laughs> Snowy Olivia, and Leo Boniti. Boniti. That's a lot of teeth. Leo Bonito! <laughs> Congratulations, y'all. You just won HQ Trivia. Welcome to the HQ Leaderboard! I've been your host, Matt Richards. Follow me on the socials, at Matt Was Funny. Come back tonight for Neil Patrick Harris, all right? Two games, baby. HQ Words giving away $10,000 at 9 p.m. And then a very special How I Met Your Mother themed trivia show at 9.30 p.m. You do not want to miss it. I'm going to see y'all later. Bye. Bye.